penis was oscillating between extremely sensitive and borderline traumatized. This one's wife. Caught cheating. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. Who is it then who has been caught cheating? Is it Harry? Has he had enough of being abused? Has he had enough of being sent to the chicken coop, shacking up with Ellen DeGeneres' refugee chicken, Sinky? Has he had enough of being spliffed out in the garden, his only solace as a consequence of escaping the shrieking of his harpy wife? Maybe as a consequence of eating alone at steakhouses and working out in Los Angeles, he's decided, do you know what? I really miss having my balls tickled. I'm going to find somebody who doesn't mind my Fanta pubes and get down and do pound the Panani pavement. It is, of course, the case that victims of narcissists do cheat, even empathic ones. It's not that they are saints, but simply, as a consequence of being abused by a narcissist, the emotional empathy of that individual is worn down to such an extent that their own narcissistic trait of infidelity comes to the fore, causing them to go and seek solace elsewhere. Sometimes it might be because there's an itch that needs scratching. The narcissist, having provided plenty of spicy poontang, then retreats, withdrawing that from the victim and therefore sex-starved, they just want to feel another body against them. In other instances, it's simply the fact of wanting to have intimacy with another person, the sex, the conversations, the being held by somebody, because the narcissist not only doesn't provide those things, but also is downright unpleasant and nasty to them. Thus, it drives the victim into the arms of another. Of course, more usually, it's the narcissist that cheats. The narcissist does so because in the eyes of the narcissist, the spouse, the primary source victim, has let them down. This, therefore, allows the narcissist to go and cheat. In effect, and some of you may have heard these words, you made me have an affair. You caused me to cheat. It's your fault that I went elsewhere. The narcissist will utilise a variety of reasons to justify such activity, which might range just from giving you a shrug in the course of a lower lesser through to a long list of your failings when you're dealing with a middle-mid-range narcissist. The narcissist cheats because the narcissist has no sense of remorse, no conscience, no sense of guilt, has the necessity of controlling people and will utilise sex to do so, has the necessity of drawing fuel, and in the world of the narcissist, the sanctity of the relationship or the marriage is cast to one side, because in the world of the narcissist through, viewed through the distortion field, you have done something or some things to allow the narcissist to be relieved from their obligation, not that there was ever one in the first place in their mind, to go and do as they please. You didn't love them enough. You didn't show enough affection. You were too absorbed with your work. You spent too much time with the children. You were out with your friends. You didn't help around the house. You looked funny once when you walked into the living room. Whatever it might be, whether it's based with a degree of truth or more usually is a complete fabrication, the narcissism will find some explanation or reason which will allow the narcissist to go and cheat. And therefore... Whilst in the relationship between this one's wife and Harry, either of them could be placed in a position of the commission of infidelity, it's more likely to be this one's wife. For this one's wife, there's also other factors. Harry is deemed to be a malfunctioning appliance. Yes, he can still be controlled. His fuel output is still reasonably good. However, his character traits and residual benefits have lost their shine, and that is something that pushes him towards disengagement. This one's wife's money issues are a particularly concerning residual benefit, which are likely to cause her to ditch Hasno balls and compel her to seek somebody else. Naturally, she's not going to ditch him first and then have a period in the wilderness before trying to find somebody. Her narcissism essentially says it's okay for there to be an overlap, something, of course, which she did with Prince Harry and Corey Vitiello. 
Accordingly, the narcissism dictates, start looking for somebody else to replace Harry. She doesn't necessarily think in such terms, but rather, oh, he's nice, bit of flirtation, bit of chatting, oh, one thing led to another. And it just so happens to be the case that I'm now sucking on the appendage of a billionaire. Oh, how did that happen? Thus, this one's wife is more likely to cheat because her narcissism sees it as something that's entirely justifiable. She's more likely to cheat because Harry's in the sustained devaluation. And she's more likely to cheat because the narcissism recognises that a new recruit, a new mark, a new target is required. Information has been posted on Tumblr, which has been picked up by Effective Escape 9999 on the subreddit Saint This One's Wife. They use her full name, as you know, I do not. And this individual post posted, As someone who has been in Jamaica for over a week, and as someone with high connections in the country, and lucky to be visiting high-end places here, This One's Wife has been here since before Friday. Dun! Dun, dun. And the story about a child or children being unwell is bogus. Who'd have thunk it? As she has been spotted partying, drinking excessively, and is enjoying herself without her husband or her children. Now, pausing there. It's not a surprise to find that if this is true, that she's gone there without her husband and without her children. After all, her sense of entitlement drives her to do whatever she wants. Furthermore, we all know that she enjoys the partying and the drinking, and therefore the somatic narcissist engages in that hedonism. So away she goes, filling her boots. Furthermore, it's not a surprise that a lie was propagated about her non-attendance at the aviation awards. Narcissist regularly lies. The fact is, she would not have wanted to attend because she'd be playing second fiddle to her Harold, and it provides her with an opportunity to be away from him, which fits with the rumours of them already being separated. Yet, there's more. Not only is she presenting a facade to the outside world that they are together, not only did she tell a porky pie, which was propagated through other people with regard to a child being ill, thus demonstrating that she's quite happy to use her child in order to make excuses for her non-attendance, but the suggestion is that she's messing around, that she's playing away. The anonymous poster stated she does have an older guy with her, and she couldn't get enough of him at a restaurant on Sunday, where I saw her again. I'm very certain that she is divorcing him, presumably not the older guy, but meaning Prince Harry, and she has no intention whatsoever in keeping the children either. I'm not sure who the guy was, but he looked in his 40s, 50s, if not older. She's using the movie premiere as a way to get away with this man undercover, it seems. Now, as always, I leave it for you to determine the veracity of such a story, but it's something that has the air of legitimacy about it, because when we compare the suggestion of her behaviour with how we know that a narcissist would behave, then the knowledge that we have about the way that a narcissist behaves lends credence to such a suggestion of infidelity. That they come together to present the appearances of of being a united couple, but it's done as facade management, as I explained previously, why a narcissist would engage in such chicanery, and, as I've just explained to you, her narcissism is causing her to look for a replacement for Harry, and therefore it wouldn't be surprised if she's with another man. No information is given as to who this might be, and there's all manner of speculation as to, is it a bodyguard? Is it uh, Marcus Anderson? Is it somebody else? Well, that's as may be, and that's something for another day. But the point is, there is a suggestion that she's been caught cheating in Jamaica, and it's entirely something that a narcissist would do. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.